Hey, why is it you would need your own branded property search or app instead of using third party apps for your clients or potential clients or leads to search on? We're going to cover that today and figure out why agents or at least the agents that the, the team leads or brokers are working for need their own branded web search as well as an app when they're helping buyers and sellers and investors. Uh, join us in just a second. If you're watching this video on Facebook uh, and you found this helpful, comment home below to subscribe to future broadcasts. If you're watching, oh, comment agent below to subscribe to future broadcasts. If you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe to our channel. And if all, as always, if you have topics or questions you would like us to cover, comment below. So um, this is our very first broadcast of 2019. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna be doing this every two weeks. We're gonna be covering topics that are important to real estate agents that make them more effective, more productive. Um, and today I'm very excited to have my friend and vendor, Rick Orr, uh, with Real Savvy, and we're going to be talking about mobile apps and how they can affect your business by a landslide. So, uh, Rick, are we, is we have Rick on? Yeah. Okay, we have Rick on. Rick, how are you? Good. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Good. Good. Um, so, tell us about what you do. I know you're 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 the CEO of Real Savvy. Um, tell us what you guys do. Yeah. So, uh, a twenty-year kind of realtor broker felt like the industry needed more context and data, which is very part and parcel to this conversation uh, with the buyer, helping agents work with clients more easily. So we're, uh, you know, we might call the industry an all-in-one platform of website, IDX, CRM, and really rich APIs, but with a, a mobile app, which is really the, the center point of all of that experience. It's a very mobilized world for both agent and client, and uh, that's what we do. Sure. Okay. So, you know, when I'm talking to agents about this stuff, you know, Part of what what I think this is so important is if you're working online leads and you know leads that you know in specific people that may have not uh, signed a buyer rep with you, right? We'll start with that. So why do you think it's important for a real estate agent to either have these tools uh, themselves or at least be part of a brokerage or team that has these tools? Yeah, I think you want to have that direct sort of connected tissue to the client that you, you just aren't able to get through another sort of product like a consumer portal uh, that it's only you, the agent, the way we work, you know, you, the connected agent are on every single listing, not representing as a listing agent of the listing, but simply giving your clients the ability to do the things in the real world that we as realtors are sort of known for. The mobile app gives you the digital implement to, to be able to sort of bridge the gap of search to actual connection and relationship, and that's why it's you know so so important. And also, you don't want to, you know your buyers to, especially in a non-buyer rep world, uh, to click inadvertently the wrong button on one of the other consumer portal apps and inadvertently sort of establish a, even an informal agency relationship with. With another agent, right? So uh, having your own branded thing is a great way to sever the dependency on what maybe had gotten them moving in the portal realm. But when it comes to actionable data, real MLS data, it's the broker connected to the MLS apps like like what we provide with Real Savvy that really uh, can sever that dependency. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny is um, I had a couple of years ago an experience where. Um, my babysitter who is real close to us and she's been with us for like, you know, eight years. And, uh, she went and showed up, uh, she saw for her, her boyfriend looking at her property and we'd set them up on something and they didn't, you know, they just didn't know what they were doing. And they, they actually signed a buyer's rep with an agent to go see a property, you know? Um, and I think that's, you know, I look back on that, that's, that's my fault. Like I should have had her on my technology. Right. And I think that, you know, for agents that are out there that are working internet leads, I mean, it's a grind, right. And, you know, it takes a while to get a lead converted sometimes. So you really need to have a, a system out there where you're the source for everything. Otherwise you'll get swooped up unless you have a really good relationship. Even if you have a good relationship, sometimes that, that can happen. I mean, I, like our people here have converted people whose good friends are agents, you know? Um, and you know, you don't want to drop the ball by doing that. So what, what we're talking about here is, you know, a, a, a IDX search that sends out, 
you know, property listings, you can set up a search for them in the back end of the system. And there's many platforms that do this. I just happen to like yours and I think you're authority on this. And you know, what I like about, again, a lot of people do it, right? But I, I like, you know, let's talk about yours because I'm, I'm familiar with yours. Um, and yours does a lot of stuff that others don't, but, but basically when a lead goes online, anything that they search, whether it be on the mobile app or on the search portal is recorded through either your CRM. And in our case, we have follow up boss and that data is transferred to follow up boss, right? Correct. Real time. Yeah. So, um, Kelly, I'm going to share my screen here. Am I good to do that? Okay, so what I want to show you here is is like this is follow up boss and um, you know a lot of different CRMs do this, uh, but you can look here and see what are the properties that she's viewed. You can look at what the saved pay. Oh, well, I think she has some saved ones, but they're probably no longer valid. Um, and then I could click on any one of these pages and it will pull up the property. I don't want to do that because this is an, an older lead, but if you look at all activity, actually I think this is one of your guys, but, um, and you can just see what they looked at. What, what, do you, what do you, what do you even call that technology? I'm gonna go back to uh, remove the screen. Go well, ahead. Yeah, I guess client insights. And at the end of the day, like, like I said, the relationships are what makes real estate such an important part of home purchasing, right? So. Mm -hmm. In fact, it relates to why people get a little confused like your babysitter and end up you know, inadvertently going the wrong direction away from the trusted Ryan that they've known for so long. It's, it's emotional. They're excited. Right? It's a lifestyle yeah. purchase. They want to go get in almost against no matter what anybody could say in the world, like can't hold them back. And it's not their fault for that. What you need to be is on top of the data stream as, as, as quickly in that process as possible and only on your own website and on your own app, whether it's us or another you know, uh, kind of all in one platform, can you achieve that level of context to do what you do in the relationship business so well? It's like the digital world needs to arm you with these insights. Real time mm -hmm. alerts, which our integration, of course, sends everything directly to follow up off. And if you have text alerts on, you're going to get an immediate text that they're online, or they're looking, or they're saying something. And, and it's just about speed because they're emotional in a moment. They're trying to get in. They could easily say, just knock on the door and the agent be there or something at the other agent. And all you want to know is that they need you. And it's hard as an agent, we have a database like yours where you've got a thousand people that you can talk to on any given day. Yeah. You know who's doing something meaningful. And right. In terms of the way that we work follow up also really focuses on those like I said, call it like a two by four to the face kind of call to action. It's like, Brian, don't get away from today without calling this one person. Right. And that's yeah. that's what digital sort of mobile enabled data can do. Yeah, and it's, it's also, I'd say, uh, has a little bit to do with, with lead conversion as well. It's not just retainment, but it's also conversion. Um, and I'll give you an example of that. Like, you know, when you have someone that's logged onto your site that, you know, there's, you know, what are you, terms of service or whatever, they're green for cookies and whatnot, right? Like, you want to look, and especially, like, we bring in hundreds of leads per month, right? We don't have our agents even call the lead that, you know, registered two months ago and has not been back. We go into follow a boss. We look at the last uh, activity and the last person to visit the site. And then when we look at what they looked at, I mean, look, if you've got a lead that you're working with and they've gone to your about us page, then that's probably a good indicator. You should probably call them. Right. And another thing that we're doing in our brokerage is like, we're as part of uh, you know, we do the, the, Chris Smith conversion code, uh, you know, outline, I call it instead of a script, but we have what they call feature benefit tie down, right? Where we are telling people like, this is one reason that you should use us. And do you, you know, the reason you should use us is because you'll be ahead of the game. And don't you agree that you would want to work with someone that is using this technique, right? So one of our feature benefit tie downs is off market properties. So one of the tricks that we've used, uh, my sales manager, Johnny, is like out there like crazy finding any off-market property he can. He's got every wholesaler. He's got, um, you know, scours all the broker sites uh, on Facebook for, for coming soon or whatnot. So one of the tricks that we're using is if we're working with someone and we go to the follow boss and we see, okay, here's somebody that's looking in like Avery Ranch neighborhood, right? 
and we see what they look at, then we're looking at our off-market list and saying, hey, I saw you're looking at Avery Ranch, have you seen this off-market property here? That leads to a whole nother conversation, right? So, um, and it, what we're doing is we're using the technology to see what they're looking at, and chances are the house that we happen to know that's in that, you know, vicinity is not going to work for them, okay? Sure, sure. But it opens a door for a conversation. We're able to do this um, through using your technology, using curator's technology, using technology of real geeks and figuring out like here is what what they have or what they're looking for and then trying to find something similar to open that door conversation. Yeah. Um, Want to switch gears real quick with, with the app. So I, I, you know, Rick just got the app. Uh, up and running for us a couple weeks ago. And I, man, I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, give us a rundown on what the app does and, and, and how people should be using it. Yeah, I mean, our vision is just to make it easy for agents to work with clients. And a 20 year practitioner, myself, my wife, the real you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a formidable challenge. What's that? Oh, let me turn them on. There we go. How about now? Okay, perfect. You might want to bring that mic a little bit closer to you, Rick. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a formidable challenge. You've got people that are used to maybe Zillow or Redfin, and those are great to get them moving and start to build momentum in a oftentimes passive phase of purchase. But when it comes time to engaging with whether it's an online lead that you've just shown that you can bring value through off market knowledge, even if it's not the property they buy, to your point of like continuing a meaningful conversation, you know, we felt that. The next phase of that approach, no matter how you got the lead, and no matter how you knew how to sort of generate that meaningful conversation, it's how do you convert them into dollars, right? And so our app centers around a, a concept of collaboration. This is what I found in 20 years of, of selling houses, you know, probably more in the area of buyer rep than other, where you know, uh, getting husband and wife, for instance, to, to kind of move together, I always knew in my gut was a more likely scenario towards a close. And so what we've done is we've put this invitation model, not just, you know, you can find everything that's near you, you can draw multiple polygons, it has intensely rich neighborhood search, which is very unique in the mobile app world, uh, you know, shape files and all that stuff. And so that'll kind of get them moving, but the ability to invite to what we call collection home boards, where you can say, you know, Ryan invites Bob and Sue, husband and wife, and Bob pins a home from the app that he's standing in front of because the, you know, it's location aware, Sue knows about it, Ryan knows about it instantly, and every link pulls you right back into the app, and every bit of data is being sent through the real savvy back end to follow up boss. Mm -hmm. right? And your level of context around their commitment, two people liking something is at least 10 times more valuable than what there's Yeah, great in the point. Homes, right? And so, so that level of collaborative sort of engagement is, is, we feel very differentiated in the marketplace. And you know, we started our business around the mobile experience, added web and other things in, in the past, but and, and, and as time went on, but it's a very modular system. And you're a great example of that where you have all these different products, which I think many very savvy, sort of pun intended, I guess, uh, brokers will engage all points possible. Yeah. When you get to a point of a real client looking to find a home, we want to take over as that conversion engine towards the closing table. Not necessarily just the sort of involvement of a lead to a converted into a client. Right, right, and you know, it's so. So what Rick is saying here is that basically, you know, he has in his app and his website or whatever is that you can add collaborators to that uh, same. You know, I guess it's called the uh, the search portal, right? Where it's almost like. You know, you you're you're sharing. You know, husband and wife, or a, a mother and a father, are sharing the data. They can make notes. They can share. They can make favorites. Um, they can send it to each other, and the agent gets that data back, which I think is extremely invaluable when it comes to lead conversion. And then this doesn't really have to anything to do with lead conversion, but I do want to kind of brag on this a little bit. So the where is it? Okay, there's my mobile app which is right there right and so um you know it's branded and then uh i'm gonna see if i can show you so so go mls is an app that we have through the board of realtors and i'm very involved with the board of realtors but uh you know i'm not a big fan of that app as it relates to, to agents you guys have run an api through um your service to go right so basically 
if I can kind of show what it does here, if you go down to, all right, am I not signed in? Damn it. Here, I can show you one real quick. I've got one. Yeah, so sure. I want to show to the interaction with the agent, like how you, an agent can schedule a property, you know. Yeah, so this would be the same view that the consumer has, except for this little green button has agent only data, and I'll kind of turn to the side in case there's any sensitive on there. But you know, this is the agent bits. This is the how do I get in the door? What do I need to know? And importantly, it'll pass to the listing agent, for instance, uh, someone we both know in this case, uh, uh, another firm locally. Uh, it'll pass the information about what I'm asking about, right? So it's going to send yeah. the address and who I am. It's just a convenience feature, but where any, any MLS we're connected with most of the regional MLSs across the country where we have a vow connection, that button's there for every agent just to make it easier. Because what happens is inevitably, in a mobile business like real estate agency, you're at a stoplight when your client pins a home on Real Savvy or your you know, Spyglass app on Real Savvy. You get a text message and you can just in one click find out if it's a go, if it needs a showing service, if you have an yeah. And maybe you're nearby. Importantly, you can delight that customer because remember they have that emotional moment of like, I want to get in right now. Hey, listen, I'll meet you there right now. Right. And so yeah. the alternative is a lot of switching in around apps and the data isn't in those other apps that may have been there before. And that's sort of the center point of it all and kind of a virtuous flywheel of data and relationship is sort of where we try to live. Yeah, and the, the, the you know, MLS Go for me is is clunky, man. I mean, I'm using your stuff all the time now. Like, I mean, for you know, forget the consumer facing stuff. Like, you know, I love it because you can you can look on MLS, see you know where the properties are at from your app. You can hit the direction buttons. It will open up a map that you know your whatever map you have loaded, Google Maps or or Yahoo or Yeah. Yeah. Help, what is it, Apple? Yeah. And it'll give you directions. You can send a text, you can send an email, you can call. I think it's wildly efficient. So, um, you know, I, I, I can't give enough kudos to you guys for, for creating such a great app. And, you know, I think our agents are really liking it. And we're using it, the app and the search portal, in order to get new business. Um, so once again, you know, I, I, I have a lot of different vendors and I love them all. Your, your stuff is, is, is great. You know, I want to, quite frankly, I'll tell you, I have a real geek site that I'm ready to get rid of and replace with yours. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so where can people find you? Yeah, so realsavvy.com. Uh, there's a bot right there on the page. You can ask us questions, tries to you know, help answer questions quickly. You don't always have time for a demo and you understand that. Um, yeah, realsavvy.com. Um, uh, our team's always ready to, to talk you through the different needs that you have. And importantly, you know, uh, if you have an existing website, just as Ryan did, you don't have it's not an all in one and you have to buy everything. We, we, we view this industry, I think, very differently than a lot of people, and that we try to make parts that will integrate with other players. It sort of takes a village. You know, we love Follow Up Boss because their APIs are, are rich like ours, we can make for a seamless sort of interactivity. Um, but yeah, it's very modular app. Uh, we have a CRM for those that need a very lightweight one, and then we integrate with others, as I mentioned. Um, customizable web is a key piece of it as well, but yeah, uh, realsavvy.com is how you reach Yeah, and what I love about Rick is that you know, he, he, he knows I have these relationships, and he plays well with others, and it's made just a really good um, relationship for us. So Rick, we're going to let you go. Thank you for being on uh, the broadcast today. Um, and so guys, if you're watching this on, uh, Facebook, type the word agent in the comment section below to be uh, subscribed to future broadcasts. If you're watching this on YouTube, click like, click subscribe, you know, hit the bell button. If you want to be notified when, uh, future broadcasts come out, um, I will be back in two weeks. I'm not going to be back on Friday, but I'm be back on Thursday. We're going to do a live segment from Inman Connect in New York City. Rick will be there. Um, and we're gonna I'm gonna do a recap of what are the trending issues in real estate of what I've learned that week. Uh, so I look forward to seeing all you guys there. We'll put if you're subscribing to the show, we'll put an announcement letting you know what day and time that's gonna be. Um, and that'll that, that's a wrap for today, Rick. Thank you so much. Have Thank a great you. day. Cheers.